not the scene that you would expect in an eastern Ukrainian border city in wartime. 20 miles from the Russian border, 20 kilometers from the Russian border. And in the middle of war with the world's largest country and most powerful nuclear military. Well, I feel like otherness at the moment because I've just been accepted into the Ukrainian army. So, joys and sorrows. Only fools are certain. But I retain my sense of irony, so I can speak on certain things with absolute chilling certainty. But perhaps another time. No one's paying attention to me as a writer. Wolves Eat Lambs, the pornography of power, was read by 10 people. Perhaps one day my words will be read by tens of people and be worth millions of Zimbabwean pennies. But in the meantime, one of the slippery charlatan shyster scumbag scoundrels that that book took aim at, Russell Brand, has been outed for the sex criminal shyster that I always sensed he was. And I can only hope to see his slippery pro-Putin propagandists, uh, his fellow pro-police state propagandists like the slippery blagger Jordan Peets and, and co. I can only hope to see them all splayed out like trollops in the stocks. But perhaps not in my lifetime. But unlike all these fucking pseudo-dissident, full rebel blaggers, I'll put some iron in my words. And some gold. Not merely the iron sulfide that they put into theirs. Fool's gold. I mean, I said that Mr. Moral Equivalence Chomsky should send his kids to fucking fight for Wagner. Peterson, Brandon Co. They, they should come out and join Wagner. And they'll see me in the other trench with the Third Assault Brigade. Tretja. Or Kramer. Stormover Brigada. Yeah. Wisdom begins in wonder. You know what? I'll, I'll show... I'll demonstrate yet more of that certainty. We shouldn't do things because they're easy in the pointless pursuit of pleasure. But pursuing purpose is pointful. And it might be painful. And I'm sure that given the Third Assault Brigade are currently engaged in the Battle of Bakhmut that's raged for more than a year, a year and a quarter now, or more, it's going to hurt. It's going to be hellish. It'll be a nightmarish landscape of chaos and carnage. But it's better than the empty, vacuous nihility of bliss. So all the talking head whores whoring for prominence who would pay for the pleasure of selling themselves. And all the grifters and gurus, hucksters and healers, cranks and quacks all, all the sex criminals and the empty vessels who found themselves in positions of prominence and use it to spew pro-police state propaganda as full rebels, all of them. And the panganistas, the uh, slutbag syphilis pigs, slosh pots, in, in all their naked sexuality, clothed as spirituality. Well, all of them can get fucked, you know what I mean? I'm in the Ukrainian army now. I'll leave Kharkiv in a few hours. And onwards we go into hell. Let me not die ingloriously, but in pursuit of purpose and some glorious enterprise that men yet to come will still we'll hear of down the years and let other men hold their manhoods cheap 
for not being here and engaged in this titanic struggle. Let David prevail over Goliath. Let life be a dream being true to itself. Slava Ukraini. <laughs>